Rejoice in the Lord always again I say rejoice Rejoice in the Lord always again I say rejoice 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 again Rejoicing always means that there is no time This is the word of God There is no time when you shouldn't be rejoicing What does rejoicing mean? It means to, to it means a proclaimed joy and gladness. It's not just having the joy and gladness. It's proclaiming the joy. It's it's, it's making evident well, the joy and gladness. Rejoice always. That but does that mean that you have to feel? Oh, Did, oh, I, okay. Just he said something about the Acts sixteen where Paul and Silas was in the jail. I doubt if they like felt it. like it. No, uh, I promise you that Jesus Christ. It says he was tempted in all things as we were. He was truly man. He did not feel like saying, Father, forgive them. That was a choice. Forgiveness is a choice. Love is a choice. Rejoicing. You want to know something? God is pro-choice. Everything is about the choices that you make. Bear in mind, I mean, way back when, you're talking about, you know, in the time when they came out of Egypt, right? Moses brought them out by the hand of God. And one of the first things that happens in Deuteronomy is God said, I... And I call heaven and earth to, to bear witnesses. I set before you life and death, the blessing and the curse. Choose life. It's about the choices you make. God is not going to make that choice for you. He's given you the power to make the right choice. It has nothing to do with the way you feel. And herein lies the rub, as Billy Shakespeare once said. It, the problem is we have been, we are being conditioned by the world to live our lives based on our feelings. And it's not about feelings. It is about spiritual choices that you make. You have the power. Why? Because joy is not what you got for, for Christmas this year. Joy is not, uh, joy is not about you know, how they treated you at work today. Joy is a fruit of the Holy Spirit within you. Okay? It is God's work from within, not the world's work from without, that gives you reason to rejoice. And as I said, rejoicing is not just having a feeling or or a sense of gladness and joy, right, right. but it is outwardly showing that joy and that gladness in your life. Proclaiming. Proclaiming. Why? You have reason. Because, you know, regardless of how things went at work today, if you have been saved by the shed blood of the Lamb upon that cross, and your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. That's what it's about. And when the apostles came back at one point to Jesus and said, Oh, boy, you should see. It was one, oh, it, oh, it was good. It was exciting. We were casting out demons. We were doing this. We were healing. And Jesus said, Whoa. He said, Rejoice over this, that your names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. No matter how you feel today, no matter how things went, if your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life, brother, you got reason to rejoice. And this is what we talked about so much last week. It's about the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and the hope that we have, that we have cause for this joy. With a grateful heart.